So if you want to find out what the best day trips are around Mexico City, stay tuned because we're going to explore. We will be visiting the pyramids of Teotihuacan, which were really awesome. And El Rosario Butterfly Reserve, where we will see over 200 million butterflies. So the first place we definitely highly recommend visiting if you're in Mexico City are the famous ruins of Teotihuacan. Yeah, for me personally, I think they're more impressive than Chichen Itza. I've been to both, I've been to Uxmal as well, and uh, Teotihuacan is definitely really on top of that list. Buenos dias! We just arrived at the ruins of Teotihuacan. We took the bus here from the north bus station in Mexico City. Um, and we tried to fix a guide at the entrance. Inside the ruins, there is a small office uh, for the Department of Education, I think he said, where you can get a guide for free. Nobody's home, no free guides here. So we are going with door number three. We have found a very local, very specialized tour guide. Hello, sir. Hello, welcome to Teotihuacan. Thank you. This is Mexico's biggest ancient city. It was probably the biggest pre-Hispanic empire of Mexico. The complex comprises three different pyramids, Quetzalcoatl, which is the third biggest one, and then you have the famous Pyramid de la Luna and the Pyramid de la Sol. I'm now climbing the Pyramid of the Quetzalcoatl at an altitude of 2,300 meters. This is quite, uh, quite straining. That little blue dot there, that's Kim. Pretty steep down. There's actually a pyramid behind it, which is very beautiful. It has these uh, very beautiful bells with, uh, with carvings, and uh, it looks quite nice. So I would recommend going there if you're not uh, handicapped. Physically disabled? Oh. Not handicapped. <laughs> Physically and mentally. My knee is actually doing a lot better lately, but I can still feel it when I go up and down the stairs. And I saw people struggling on the pyramid, and I was like, eh. There are going to be plenty of stairs here that I'll have to take just to get to the main site, so I'll let him climb them for me and then I'll watch the video. Yeah, yeah. Walking the Calzada de los Muertes, or the Avenue of the Death, for about two to three kilometers, we finally arrived to the Pyramid of the Sun. It's the third highest pyramid in the world, how impressive is that? It's over 70 meters high and 220 meters wide at each side of the base. If you see the people clambering up, they look like ants from down here. And I'm going to climb it all the way to the top. And I'm not because my life. All right, I'm ready. Step one, two, three, four, five, six. So when Laik is climbing the pyramid, I have found the perfect spot in the shade and I have it all to myself. There's a whole bunch of people climbing the stairs here. But I seem to be the only idiot filming himself with a camera. Uh. Look at that. Oh, it was a pretty steep climb, but it was okay. It was worth it to get these nice views. These stairs are pretty steep. I'll just have to be careful going down because otherwise I might end up down very quickly. Ah! ah, just joking, I'm okay. The hero returns. The smaller temple behind us is the Templo de la Luna, the Temple of the Moon. It has 12 temples lying around it and lining the death runway. It's not the death runway, it's the avenue of death. So it lines all the way back to uh, to the Temple of the Sun and it's pretty cool because it gives you some great views. It gets pretty hot down there, so try to go early in the morning when the weather is still nice, pack some sunscreen and pack some water, come prepared and you'll have a good time. Yeah, and maybe bring someone who holds a little umbrella up for you if you have someone like that, maybe like a boyfriend or... Or another girlfriend. <laughs> For me, one of the top activities to do around Mexico City is to visit the Monarch Butterfly Reserve. It was really, 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 really impressive. Just arrived at the Butterfly Reserve. To get here, I had to get up at 5.30 in the morning. 5.30. I'm not in the morning person, so it's really not my thing. Then, I had to take a taxi. And then at 6.20 we left for a four hour bus ride to get here from Mexico City. But it's so worth it, it's so beautiful. Wow. It's like 
butterflies everywhere. Apparently every year there's about 100 to 150 million butterflies in this place, but this year it's more than 200 million. And it's a very sunny day, so they're all flying around. The most beautiful one is when one of these packs that hangs up in the trees, when they all start flying together, it's really, really beautiful. Every year the monarch butterflies migrate north from Canada all the way to South Mexico. <laughs> they migrate north from Canada to the south of Mexico, <laughs> crossing Antarctica on their way. <laughs> Those are some tough ones. Every year the butterflies migrate from <laughs> every year the butterflies migrate from Canada all the way down to Mexico and it's millions. It wasn't a very knee friendly activity and so I decided to sit this one out because it was a lot of walking up the hill and quite a steep climb so I couldn't go but it looked very 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 cool from the footage that I saw. The, mo the butterflies, <laughs> the butterflies um, only migrate to this region during certain periods. I think it's from November until March. Yep. Um, so it's not something you can do all year round, but if you're here during the season, definitely go. It looked very cool. <laughs> it was. So that is all for this video. We hope you liked the day trips we did. And if you're looking for some inspiration, definitely go to Teotihuacan and the Monarch Butterfly Reserve because it's incredible. We highly, highly recommend it. It's really incredible. And as you said, Teotihuacan is one of the best ruins that we've been to. I think uh, the Monarch Butterfly Reserve is just such a unique experience that I don't think you can find anywhere else in the world. So definitely, definitely go there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come back for that. Uh, and also, if you're in Mexico City and wondering what to do there, go check out our previous video where you will see Mexican wrestling, swanky rooftop bars, insect appetizers, which I still haven't completely gotten over, um, and some ruins as well, again, because you know it's Mexico and they have a lot of ruins, but it is epic, so go check it out. Um, and we will see you in the next video. If you like this film, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more adventures, and we will hopefully see you soon. Bye! Bye! <laughs>